What's up guys, check this out. How cool is that? Playing Game Boy on a device this tiny. Probably a little unusable, right? This is the little tiny iPhone I showed you guys in my last video. And this time around in this video, I'm gonna show you its younger brother. This is the world's tiniest Game Boy Color emulator. And it's actually hilarious just how tiny it is. It's smaller than this iPhone. So in this video, I wanted to go ahead and unbox that, see is it usable, and uh, basically can you play games on it well? Like just how is it overall? The impressive thing is you can literally hook it up to a keychain and barely notice it's there. So uh, let's get to unboxing and uh, I guess we're doing mini gadgets now because that's the new fad here. All right, so I did receive this thing. It's on a crowdfunder right now. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's called the Pocket Sprite, and it comes in this tiny little box, appropriate for a device this small. So, all right, here it is. And uh, let's check it out. Let's see how, just how tiny it is. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. It is so tiny. It's smaller than the actual phone itself. So, wow. Okay, let me turn this camera around and uh, let's get to using this thing. So before I get into that, real quick, I just wanna show you what it's like to play an emulator on a device this small. So you guys can have a little scale here. I mean, this is the tiniest iPhone or phone in general that I've ever used. So let's go ahead and run an emulator here. And the buttons, as you can see, are pretty much overlapping here. And uh, okay, so I'm not gonna go through this setup, but let's load a different game here. Check out Super Mario Bros. And uh, here it is. So you got select start up here, A, B, and then your directional buttons. So let's see what it's like to actually play a game on device this small. And do take into consideration, these are virtual buttons, so it's not really gonna be quite the same. All right. So, oh, what? I can't, I can't click A and jump while moving my actual character. I'm guessing this display isn't multi-touch or maybe, oh, huh? Yeah, it's really hard. You have to like move and then jump. Maybe it's a limitation of the game, I doubt it. Okay, that's uh, it's quite hard. Okay, um, yeah, so this really is hard, just with the buttons overlapping and everything. This thing actually has physical buttons, so as you can see on a device this small, it doesn't work out too well. Let's check out this one here. And here it is. I just can't believe that this is actually a working product. 10 year old me would have completely geeked out over this product, being able to play Game Boys on something that you can easily hide from the teachers. I, I literally got like so many Game Boys taken away by teachers before, only got back a couple of them, but here it is. So, um, all right, so the Pocket Sprite, pocketsprite.com. And there's a micro USB cable down here. It's a little fat, but uh, very compact, very, very tiny. I mean, look at that. These are actual buttons, so physical buttons here. Look at that tiny, tiny little display, that's hilarious. Okay, let's power it on. I'm guessing with this button here. Oh, so I do have to charge it. That's so cute, such a little icon for the battery. All right, I'm gonna go charge this and I'll be right back. Let's give it a whirl. So, turning it on, select ROM. Oh, that's it. No screen, no image, nothing. It just goes straight into loading the ROMs. Cool, so this is an 8-bit speaker. Uh, it's not capable of full range of sound, just the ones that an original Game Boy could produce. So, I'm really not sure what this is. Oh, this is a... Oh my gosh, I'm already playing a game. I gotta really zoom in on this one, wow. So this is an organic LED display. I'm gonna have to turn the lights out for you guys to even see this. All right, so let's see what's going on here. This is like a Frogger game. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and load some ROMs on. This is capable of playing Game Boy Color and Sega Genesis ROMs, so you can theoretically play Doom on this if you so wanted to. And uh, so that's the volume. Close emulator. Oh, okay, so nice little menu here. Uh, change ROM, close emulator. So you can actually connect this thing to Wi-Fi. It does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, I'm not sure if you can stream Bluetooth audio with this, but it's so there's SM Plus app, what is that? Oh, and this one comes preloaded. so this is 2048. I'm getting some weird flickering through the camera. I'm not seeing that in person, just so you know. Okay, oh my gosh, that is, that is just, 
I can't, I can't do this. This is too small, too adorable. Okay, this is actually pretty dang cool. So when you put this thing into Wi-Fi mode, this is what it's gonna look like. And you connect to the Wi-Fi network that this thing puts out, it's PKSPR. And then in any browser, you basically go to 192.168.4.1 and this is what you get. This is beaming from here. So you just choose your files that you're gonna upload and it's just as easy as this. So basically you select that file and within a few moments, it basically just processes onto here. It's remarkably easy and I'm not sure if you can do this from a smartphone. All right, and here we have it. So let's go ahead and click back and we will run. I think I have to restart it for it to show, but it did just load five games or so. Okay, here we go. So here is our ROM list and I'm gonna go ahead and select Super Mario. And this is not quite the resolution of the official product, the official Game Boy. It's a little bit smaller. It is an organic LED display and it is 60 frames per second though. So it does have that going for it. And again, the scan lines you will not be seeing in person. It's only through a camera. So this thing has a 96 by 64 display and the original Game Boy has a 160 by 144 display. So it's a little bit uh, smaller in terms of pixel size, but it's so hard to tell at this size. I can't even properly tell you how tiny this thing is. You have to be really, really uh, up close to it just to see what you're doing and I guess that's part of the charm of it it's uh it's pretty funny but anyways let's see how this works if it's better than my uh, actual virtual one on the other iPhone all right oh actually it's definitely a lot easier to uh, see what you're doing here okay got the mushroom yeah I would say this is actually pretty playable because you have some sort of tactical feel you know the virtual buttons don't blend with each other I like that Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Okay, so uh, here we go. Let's get this guy. Of course, you can move and jump at the same time. So pretty dang playable. I could see this thing being a lot more enjoyable for non-action based uh, games. So you don't have to like move around a lot. Pokemon, this would be perfect actually for the old classics. Uh, okay, so there's that. All right, so let's test out these menus, the volume. Let's put it all the way up here. So, um, oh, I have to click this again. It's not too loud, actually. It's a lot quieter than I thought it might be, but at this size, I mean, what can you expect? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so hilarious. I can't believe I'm doing this. Would I have enjoyed this as a younger kid? I wonder. It's actually somewhat playable. That's the incredible part here. And apparently it does have an instant on feature. So I'm just trying to see how I can turn this off in order to access that. So saving state, if you hold it, and then when you click it again, click and hold, will it turn back on to where you were? Oh yeah, yeah, cool. So there is that feature, instant on, basically just hold it until it turns off. And then when you turn it back on, it'll start playing right where you left off. This thing has hours of battery life, they say. Put it on your keychain and just have this thing you know, if you're ever stuck in a meeting or just don't have anything to do, you can easily play on this thing. Now I'm playing from about a foot away and uh, it's pretty comfortable. I mean, you can see what you're doing mostly here. It just doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person. Nice. Okay, so I beat one level of Mario almost. This should tell you everything you need to know about this. Now let's try out some more sedentary games. I'm gonna load up Pokemon here. See how that looks on a display this small. Actually, I have to finish this level here first. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, no. Okay, I tried, I got pretty close. Okay, so let's go back to the menu here. And uh, by the way, the brightness is adjustable. So I have it all the way up here. But so let's change the ROM. This thing is pretty quick for what it is. Um, it's a running Game Boy Color game, so you know, it's not too hard for that to happen. Literally calculators nowadays can run these games. Okay, so let's try Pokemon Crystal, or actually Grand Theft Auto. In comparison to the iPhone, it's literally like almost half its size. The display is like a third, a fourth, and uh, pretty chunky, but still, that is incredible. I remember playing this game on the old Game Boys as a kid, GTA 2. You literally cannot even read what the text is saying. It's so pixelated at this point. Okay, here it is. I am playing Grand Theft Auto. It is so tiny. I literally do not even know what the heck is going on. Uh, okay, I would take a car, but I literally don't even know how to operate these controls. Okay, that one's a bust. Let's try Pokemon. I'm hoping Pokemon looks good on this because that's pretty much what everybody's going to be playing on this device. Animations are good. 
Fluid, all right. Now the annoying thing is this is a pre-production sample. So if you actually look, the display is slightly shifted to the top and to the left. This little uh, portion of the display should be directly in line with the hole for the LED status bar, but it's shifted up and to the left. So I'm sure that the quality will improve by the time it ships. Still though, it's still pretty incredible for what it is. I would legit love to see somebody reach the Elite 4 on this little device. That would be quite a feat. Although it works very well for Pokemon. I mean, this thing is literally perfect. You don't need much action. You can easily manipulate the controls here. And uh, I mean, it runs full speed. Battery life is good. It's everything that you would ever want out of a device like this. So. You know, for sedentary games like this, it works perfect. <laughs> All right, guys. So just to give you a little perspective, I'm gonna zoom out here and uh, let's play on a device, you know, like on an emulator and see how they compare. So I've got uh, Delta set up here and uh, let's go back to the main menu. So, uh, you know, on a actual Game Boy emulator, you get so much of a bigger and better experience, but there's something so charmful about this little device. I absolutely love it. I think it sells for around $55 or so. I'll leave a link to where you can buy it down below in the description if you guys really want it. But wow, I'm still in shock at how tiny it is and how much they managed to fit in here. So I seriously love this thing. I'll put it on my keychain, have it around. But yeah, it's a little difficult to play some of the higher end action games that were released at the time. But for Pokemon, it works perfectly. It's everything you need. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Okay, let me uh, bring up the same screen here. All right, so here are both of these. This is the Delta emulator. If you guys were wondering how to get this, you can't quite yet uh, officially. You can still download it on some other websites, but it'll be released in its official capacity here within the next few months. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's seriously awesome. I would recommend it. But yeah, again, there is something so charmful about this one. So anyways, guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching. I uh, wanted to share this awesome little Game Boy with you guys, and I'll leave a link down below where you can learn more about it. I would say definitely recommend it. It's something so fun, something so tiny just to show off, something so different. But that's another tiny one for the books, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.